Yo, what's up guys? It's Lycan Lion, and we're here today with the second episode going up on Lycan of Lycan Lair. We're here today with YUSMB, the content creator of Lycan, who joined off the Lycan RC with me and Yugi. Say what's up, my bro. Yo. Sad, <laughs> So, <laughs> if any of you haven't seen the last episode that was up on Lycan, pretty much what we do is we go through the people and we just talk to them, ask them for information. That way you guys get to know them a little better than their bio breakdowns. And if we ever got to retouch on them in the future, we can always get more details about them for you guys. So, let's just get right into it. And at first, I know my hair is a little messed up. I didn't put gel in it, but that's besides the point let's talk to the boy so um let's just tell them a little about yourself uh well i'm a call of duty youtuber i've been doing youtube since i was 13 years old right now i'm 16 years old um as you guys already know i just recently joined like with lion and a few other people and it's been great so far and i never thought that i would accomplish the goals that i set for myself this year um, I'm still trying to hit 10,000 subscribers right now. I'm at 5k and now I'm in one of the best teams in my personal opinion in the sniping community and uh, It's been great, you know Goals. Yeah, you have 5k and you said you started what three years ago. Yeah, I had a um, In 2014 I had a channel with over 2,000 subscribers I was averaging 1k views 100 likes and that channel ended because of some uh some drama that I don't want to get into and then I started over a, um, a new channel a week later and then when AW came out I didn't want to play AW so I quit YouTube I was at 800 subs for like the entire year and then when Black Ops 3 came out I came back and now we're here you just got bumping fam yeah right, that's a lot of subs to gain since November holy crap yeah it's crazy but um his videos are different than most normal call of duty videos i would say they kind of remind me of a i can't even think of a good example i w i'm trying to think it's on the tip of my tongue but i can't think but it's not like me with my cringy cut comms or other people he has his own style and i really like it it's something different and i'm glad you're doing it because you do cut comms to a sense or you just do regular gameplay but it has a different atmosphere i guess i would say yeah, it's like I cut, but I don't cut where it's just a straight cut com. I'll cut like I say three times or four times in the video, and then I just basically let the whole video go through because I can literally commentate a whole gameplay while I'm playing. It's like very easy for me because I've been doing it for so long. And uh, I think I got that from mostly the Market J and Green Goblin, and uh, that's where I got my momentum for YouTube, and that's how I know how to commentate and do a gameplay at the same time and have no problems at all and I'm not even struggling right now it's go. so easy for me to commentate yeah no it just comes off the tip of your tongue the only problem is you know when I make cringe I gotta cut it out because I, I don't want kids to you know drink bleach <laughs> <laughs> oh no <laughs> oh no oh no <laughs> so What's your favorite Call of Duty and why? My favorite Call of Duty is MW3 and why is because my dad introduced me to MW3 when I was 12 and if it wasn't for him, I would literally would not be here right now and I think I said this on um, the surprise recruitment when we were talking about doing an interview or whatever and uh, I basically made a whole speech because I really thought it was an interview when it wasn't and uh, yeah, that was very embarrassing but you know. <laughs> it happens. You know, worries. You're good. You're good. You're in liking now. It's all good. Yeah, I literally was talking for like five minutes. It's possible. <laughs> <laughs> he started he like, saying so. Yeah, he started like uh, he told me. He said he really wanted to crack the, the while he was um while I was talking to him. And yeah, I, I mean it's kind of funny. It, the reaction was pretty funny. He literally said liking why us and being. I was like, don't react. Oh, you didn't even hear him, dude. I remember that. <laughs> I yeah, was bro. dying. You just kept talking. I was literally <laughs> sit, I literally sat there. We were literally just sitting there together for like five seconds. Like it was so weird. He just sat there and he, he was like, you know, I said liking why us and being. The story. You're like, oh, you did. Oh, <laughs> well, okay. All right, here's my reaction. Um, yeah, hey, here you go. Hey, what's up, guys? Um, why did you pick Call of Duty over other games? Because 
Well, I started off playing 2K and Madden, but when I saw Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, I was like, yo, this is the game. Because, <laughs> I don't know, it was just the game, bro. Like, it it was. That was a fun game. Yeah, it, like, MW3 kept me motivated. And then when Black Ops 2 came out, now that's when it all started. That's, oh my god, that's when I wanted to make a YouTube channel and gain subscribers and get a lot of friends, get known. It was crazy. Okay, so for the next question, let's go to, why don't you ask me a question? I haven't done this before, but let's mix it up. Alright, um, hmm. Hmm, this is pretty, oh, I got one. When did you join the sniping community? Um, I was in my mom's uterus, and as they pulled me out, they accidentally stuck in a controller before they pulled me out. Um, next thing you know, I heard the doctor say, oh, he hit a quad feed, wait, don't pull him out, he's still going on. And I just kept going on. Still to this day. Oh my fucking <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Yo, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You know, he was just like, yo, he's going on. Freaking popped out of the womb, jumped out, jumped off the table at a 1080 at the baby across the hospital. It was, it was lit, bro. Back in the day. <laughs> I can't take this no more. <laughs> All right, um, I'm about to go to Amazon and uh, order me a rope. BRB. <laughs> yeah, BRB. BRB. You know, I've got some not time messages from, you know, back in Boy Scouts. Hmm. Oh my. Oh my. Back in the day, you know, they taught you that sailor's not. You were just like, whoopa! Feel me? Mm. You feel me, fam? Mmm. Yeah. Um, if you could be in any team except for Lycan, what would you be in and why? Huh. Or pretty... would you even be in another team? Like, if you got asked to join FaZe, would you leave? If I got joined... If, uh, wait, wait, wait. You said if I got a, um... Invite like, if you got asked FaZe. to join, like, FaZe or Red, would you do that instead of Lycan, or would you stay in Lycan? Hmm. I mean, like, honestly, I think... Well, there's two ways of this. Joining FaZe, instant juice. You'll get to 100k in about a few months, if you know what you're doing. And Just hype it up. Yeah, and you know, you'll get instantly known. But if I stay in Lycan, I'll still be right here, but I can't make myself myself known still. I can easily do it by just getting around the community and doing what I do best, and that's making videos. And right now, there's a good known people that know who I am. There's a few people that know who I am in the community. And well known people at that. So I mean like Honestly, I feel like I should be able to game my own instead of having four letters in front of my name to grow me myself. So honestly, I think I would stay in Lycan because number one, no drama. Number two, I can stay to myself. Number three, I can upload videos without any type of bullshit hate for no reason just because I'm in phase. You know what I mean? I just want to be solo dolo. And should be in a team, you know? So that's so what it low, is. Right low, now. Hashtag YOLO! Ah! Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> Literally, that's what it is right now. I'm in Lycan, and everything is so smooth. Like, everything is right. great. It, it, right, like, so you, no it's type it's of hate. chill. Yeah, because yeah, right. uh, for any of you, I know a lot of people in the team say it, and I don't know if it's been said on the team channel before, but Lycan, it's, it's literally a family or a group of friends that is just there. Like, you go into the like and chat, and you're like, yo, anybody want to hit up in a call? There's about three calls for you to join, almost at all times. And you can just exactly. chill and have fun. It's it's literally like a group of friends that's just always there. Which, exactly. me personally, like, if I got asked to join Obey Red or Phase, obviously, I would love that. But, I would, it won't I be would the same. join, but I would want to stay in, I would want to stay a part of Lycan. Like, yeah. Lycan's more than a team. It's just, it is. There's no better way to describe it. It's more than a team. Like, it actually feels, like, some of the teams I've been in, it's more about just, you know, you need to hit clips. If you don't do that, you're kicked from the team. That's all we care about. Just hit the clips, and we won't have any problems. 
where it's like, and obviously you do have to hit clips, people may be kicked every once in a while, but there's always gonna be people who wanna talk with you, hang out with you, make videos with you. It's just, it's a great team in general. That's true. That's true very story. true. Very true. Like, I mean, sometimes Grizz has gotta come around and mess us up on COD 4, and it makes us all a little butt hurt, but... You gotta show the noobs a lesson! <laughs> yeah, like, dead ass, I'm not even going to lie. But as soon as I joined the team, it really felt like home. Like, no, it Grizz, does, but... it, Grizz is my dad. Like, <laughs> I'm being dead ass serious. Like, the first <laughs> day that I joined, it was either the first, the second, or the third day that I joined, I already was in a call with him. Like, See, I, I still haven't talked to him. I said he's like the Wizard of Oz. Everybody hears about how great he is, but none of us ever see him. Yeah, like, <laughs> we, we, just, we just played when I got home from school. And uh, so, it, it was great. That's awesome, dude. Yeah. A problem with Grizz is, for any of you that don't know, he does... Not, it's not a problem. And he, he has a job, and so does Skyro. Skyro has a three, almost 3 million subscriber YouTube channel, and uh, he speaks French. He'll probably Francais. Actually, by the way, that, that, it's a random moment in the video. Should I start making a few of these in French? And um, mon français is plus small. Uh, I, je parle un peu français. Mon, mon français is plus mal. Um, je parle un peu. But anyway, um, it, it is. It's just, it's a real family environment. It, which is weird to say because, you know, it's like Call of Duty rated M for mature. But it, it, it's just guys you can chill with. Guys and gals you can chill with, have fun with. It's it's a good time. Yeah. So, we're going to end the video there because that's already about 10-15 minutes. But I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Tell me, you guys, if you would like to see more of these in the future. Thank you again to YUSMB for being on the channel. Make sure to go check him out in the description below. I'm gonna try to make these about once a week for the channel. That's kind of what my streak is now. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Again, thank you for watching. Please sort of like, subscribe to like it if you aren't already, and like and subscribe to me and YUSMB in the description below. Stay followed on Twitter. Thank you guys for watching. Please sort of like, subscribe. YouTube, may the peace be with you. Say peace out, my boy. Peace. Damn! Take it over, getting more popular lately Hey, horrified when you see it, so you go and blame me uh, Reality proven, you just mad that you hate me E-A-T, yeah, I know why you hate me, I'm a threat Threatening your career with my mental You just mad cause you afraid of my potential I got a whole crew